We're going. Oh no, Brian. Yes. He's he keeps stuttering. His oh, no. he doesn't even know that his tech is not working. What's the Welcome matter? Back to the original days. Of is he is he flickering in and out? No, what? you're you are flickering in and out with your. Internet. I am. Yeah. Oh no, I didn't know. Yeah. So it did it once but, before we went live and we didn't say anything, but because you were like trying to protect my again. feelings. Yes. Yeah, we didn't want to offend you. Mm -hmm. I'm so sensitive about tech issues. And now that I know that I'm having tech issues, I'm I'm a little ashamed. I got that feeling that you get like right in between your bosoms. You know what, what I'm talking about? <laughs> what? <laughs> you know how in, in between your bosoms <laughs> when you're feeling I don't a think that that's a plural word. I think just your bosom is just your chest area. I don't think really? you can put an S on it. What do you call a group of, of bosom? <laughs> is, it bosoms? Is, it... is it like deer i think it's kind of like deer it's like deer one one deer two deer one bosom two bosom i thought no i thought bosom was like chest it's like saying chest which is like mm -hmm. an area or a region on your body it's not referring to the actual things you can go between so a, an individual can't have bosoms. It takes more than one person to have bosoms. Right. Yeah. You'd have to put all your bosoms together before you <laughs> can say it. <laughs> you can say it with an S. Or is it like okay. go goose and geese? So like besoms or. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And now I now I don't remember what I was talking about. Um, the, oh, the tech shame. Tech the issues. tech shame. Yeah, the tech shame. You know how, you know how when you get that that feeling that your humiliation, the little bit of humiliation, Where and you, you feel, feel it. Shame? Do you feel it? Yeah, in your like in, in your, your chest, <laughs> <laughs> in your in the area just above your stomach, <laughs> in your so, upper stomach below below your chin and neck. You the get a upper, feeling. Upper bosom region. <laughs> no, the upper bosom region region would be your face. Um, uh, so I don't having I, I, having tech issues makes you feel like when you have something in your teeth, mm -hmm. maybe. Yeah. Now teeth. Can I say? Yeah, you don't say teeths. Right. You just say teeth. But it's right. one tooth. You don't say. <laughs> you do say bosom. You don't say tooth. bosom. That's sort of like goose. Goose yeah. geese, tooth teeth. Tooth teeth is teeth is tooth is. Um. Anyway, but that's how I feel. But now I'm feeling a little bit better. Hey, you guys, Juwan is not here. That's why you haven't heard him sound off. Because this is totally the sort of thing that Juwan <laughs> would have a comment about. Oh, there's yeah. no way that we, we would be this heard far. From him and we don't know where he is. Oh, and, know. and so just a minute ago, we were showing our concern by making fun of his name and <laughs> using his <laughs> name. <laughs> we were. And it serves serves me right. That's really making fun of you because you said Juwan who? And I or you said Juwan <laughs> DeVivo and I said no. Not Juwan DeVivo. No, Juwan. The other Juwan. Like, yeah. <laughs> Uh, there seems to be the uh, the concept that we're being. I'm being told that Juwan is at camp. Oh, maybe we were told that, and we just were forgot. we told that. Probably. Um, yeah. Well, that's right. how. Well, it, it, my point was that there's no way that we would get this far into a bosom discussion without hearing from <laughs> Juwan <laughs> if he were here. So. All right. Do you want Do you want to start the do show? You wanna, do you want to start the show? Yeah. That was that was the sort of high comedy that we were doing before we turned the recorder on, and and then, and then we went to the bosoms, and we just <laughs> <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> and, then, and then we elevated the comedy. That's right. <laughs> this is professional. Uh, and JT's not here either because JT is doing a, a gig. Somehow and then it was John more and Brian aren't here us. either. So. <laughs> Somehow it was more important for us to remember JT wasn't going to be here. It's going to be a long show. We have a... Uh,
talk some Mr. Stuff. Wilson, Couldn't sorry you made fun of your Prius. Why? <laughs> I don't know. Why is he sorry about that? Share the link. Do, do, are you ready for the show? Are we having skews next Sunday? What in the world? Of course we are. Of course. The, uh, n- next Sunday, we eat our Star Spangled whatever. <laughs> right? Star Spangled Pride. Star Spangled, so, <laughs> Star Spangled <laughs> Patriotism. That's right. So, should I just oh, hang delicious. out then since Jawad and yeah. JT aren't here? Yeah, because it's, it's likely that I'm going to be gone before the show is over. <laughs> so, it'll just be you and Brian. Right. This is not the remix intro yet. No. We can make it though. <laughs> Hey. Oh wait a minute! I gotta switch us. Bing. Welcome. Why? Why do you? Why you're is that always important? Yes. Over there. People. People get angry if you are not in the upper left hand. Corner. People are so fussy. Somebody people in the comments f- explained to John Branion why he has to be on the upper left side. Just mm. Do it for you, me. You can explain, but I won't. <laughs> I won't be watching. Welcome to the Skewsiverse. <laughs> huh? That's right. Brian April. Brian April. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. <laughs> Welcome Rachel to Skews, King everybody. It is, is explaining. <laughs> it is the way. It is the way. Welcome. Uh, mm-hmm. That in frozen up in time and in space and deep in thought in the bosom uh, of his, <laughs> his own being is uh, John Brennan, our host. Uh, joining us is the one, the only uh, Amanda, a.k.a. Peaches, as you may know her. Uh, and I am uh, Brian April. We're here. And uh, John is just meditating right now. He's really, you can see he's deep in thought, just trying to I hope to he center. figures this out because I <laughs> honestly don't know what the show is supposed to be. I'm just no. going to go ahead and pull yeah, him out for a second since he's still stuttering. Up he there. is still kind of going on. So uh, welcome. Uh, John Thomas uh, Oaks is not with us today. Um, and <laughs> Joanne is off, obviously off camping as we have found out. But we are here. And we have a good show for you tonight. We're going to be doing some weird news, I believe. We got some quiplash. We got the uh, smartest man. So it's going to be yep. fun. Um, Ooh, <laughs> even Brian. Theme That's right. Woo, there we go. We're taking over. That's it. Peaches <laughs> and I are taking over. This is John what we're on doing. the left because I'm left handed. <laughs> I'm enjoying the comments tonight. We got quite a few live viewers. We do have a lot. Because if John ah. is not on the left, it'll be all skewed up. There you go. Absolutely. <laughs> Well, we want to say thank you for being here. Uh, while John figures out uh, his technical issues, we should just go right in and. Oh, do you have the clickers of the week? Or no? I think I don't remember who it was last week. I'm not sure if these are the same ones from last week. Okay, well then so, we can we can look, wait. Look who's here. Oh, walk of shame. I'm afraid to even speak. Can you guys hear me? Yes, I can hear you. But you're frozen again. Uh, uh am I still frozen? Oh, there you go. Well. You're fighting through it. Fight through it. Come to the light, John. Uh, it's not light. good. Push. My bosoms are throbbing. <laughs> <laughs> um, John, technical difficulties. It, it's so weird. You know, I, here's what happened. Windows updated against my will, and I have a feeling that something is, is maybe out of whack because of that. But um, You don't but we say. Can, yeah, but look at Brian. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we. I'm just gonna do the show like this. So I think this is way better. Look at how Brian is. Head of Brian. Right now, just scoot your face over to the side so that so that it's right next to your logo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and now say, "Welcome to the Skewsiverse." Welcome to the Skewsiverse, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> it's, it's a little bit frightening. That's a little bit. But oh, I'm you know, not saying you should stop. Now oh, scooch, scooch all the way back so that your head looks like it makes the O in comedy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh huh. Yeah. This. This is, is what, what. This is yeah. what people expect. <laughs> this is what people tune in for. That's right. No question. I want to do the whole show like this. Just. Can you? 
it looks like it might be uncomfortable. It looks it? like it might strain you right mm -hmm. about yeah. here. <laughs> right in the bosom area. Right <laughs> here. <laughs> Oh man, right. we can't we can't both be having bosom problems. <laughs> I, do, I do see that the uh, the little thing up in the corner is the the internet thing is going up and down and and left and right and so I don't know. Yeah, well, should anyway. we should we tell everybody what size show we have today? Yeah, before I drop out. Before you're a, gone. We have a giant show um, scheduled this week. In fact. If this is representative of a typical show, tonight's show, Brian, mm -hmm. looks a little something like this. Ooh. Mm hmm. I thought it was going to be like a technical glitch with the, <laughs> the mammoth. It's <laughs> 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 supposed to like fade in and out. Just, <laughs> just a mammoth, mammoth head floating <laughs> in. Just a mammoth head floating. I like it. Mm -hmm. that, is a, yeah. that is a big show. Yeah. Well, and it's, you know, a lot of people might go, well, that's toilet paper. What does that does that mean that it's a it's a bad show? No, toilet paper toilet paper is a good thing. Absolutely. Um, you don't want to be is, without it. Right. Right. It's it's one of those things where you go, mm -hmm. you know, you don't realize how important it is, like this show, until you miss it, until you don't have it. Correct. If it wasn't here, people would realize it would be like running out of toilet paper. Mm. <laughs> you just. You just don't want that. <laughs> that is that is what the show is all about. We are here for your needs. We are here to get you through comfortably through through your weekend. So, uh, Dad, oh. before you disappear again. Missing this show is like running out of toilet paper. Before you disappear again, did you already put the clickers in? Uh, yes. The banner? Okay, yes, so these are new. There. Yes. Are you sure? Sure? That's what I was doing. That's what I was doing earlier when you guys were trying to talk to me, but I was focused, and so I couldn't talk back to you. So, uh, Brian, do you have a, a jingle for the, uh, for the sure. clickers? Since dun, JT dun, is, dun, dun, dun. I ate a lot during quarantine, and my waistline it got thicker. But I don't really care. We just want to celebrate our clickers. Bun -up, bun -up, bum, bum. All right, you know, but just to, but just to clarify, I think JT would have a problem with that rhyme because yeah. of the S at the end. He's well, a real stickler for those. I was gonna He's do a, a new rhyme, but JT and Juana are real sticklers. But I don't really care because we just love our quick blur. Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Okay, I have the extra L. I don't care. Click blurs. <laughs> I added the L. There you go. You're happy, JT. Mic That's drop. what happens when you add the L. Uh, <laughs> grab your mic out of the stand, drop it, yeah. and then, exactly. then we'll move on. <laughs> and the clickers are... That was are... actually pretty good. All right. Our first clickers. Our clickers this week in no particular order are Randy Epposa <laughs> and... Well, that cogs well. <laughs> Do you want to talk about cogs wells? Uh, thank you to those particular clickers, and also thank you to all of our clickers you. in general. You are the ones who uh, make this show possible, and we so appreciate your support. If you would like to be a clicker and have us butcher your name during or SKUs, a if or a clickler. <laughs> um, go to johnbrandy.com and become part of the comedy click. And Ooh. not only do you have the I have possibility, a banner for that. There it is right there, johnbrandy.com. Not only will you have your name listed in the credits and also spoken by us with our own mouth words, but you will also uh, be able to go to the effort party afterwards. Ooh. What is the effort and party? Be pre when is it? What or is what is it? Yeah. What is it? The effort party is basically where we hang out after the show and talk about how wonderful the show was and what didn't work about the show. And we talk about uh, next week's show sometimes, but usually we just horse around and make each other laugh. It's a lot um, of fun. So yeah. definitely want to join. So you can be part of that. Um, and uh, there's other there's other benefits to being uh, a click or two. We've got a Telegram group that's a lot of fun. We've got special videos that we re release from time to time. You get discounts on stuff, and um, yeah, and you can even get a koozie. Um, 
you know, a skews like, cues, yep. like this. And this is the sort of thing that you whip this out. You put a drink in this uh, at a party at any sort of social gathering mm -hmm. and people will, their jaws will drop open. Conversations will stop and every head will turn towards you in the room. Um, and all that also double as a front of the line passes at Disney. So um, if you have a drink, do they? Use kids, yes, you can go. <laughs> you can cut everybody uh, right to the front of the line. They will actually open the park for you when nobody else is around. <laughs> so absolutely worth it. Can we can we say outrageous things like that and sure. not get? In <laughs> <laughs> we can say all sorts of outrageous things. They just may or may not be true. Hey. Uh, the disembodied head may or may not be speaking the truth, but uh, but the, the the koozie, the skews koozie, is absolutely one of the things that you can get. So, yeah. um, that right, be like a segment sort of sorry, like Pee Wee's Playhouse, like I am the disembodied head. Oh, your eyes. Oh, that's really creepy. That's really creepy. Okay, okay, sorry. Don't look. Don't look. Don't look. Don't look. Sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry. Okay, we're back. Sorry. Sorry. Gosh, I was. Sorry momentarily hypnotized <laughs> you shall get us used <laughs> um, i kind of i i kind of thought that it might be fun to uh to introduce this the skewsers or the, or the clickers of the week by by assigning them a name from our scottish insults um but i di i didn't run that past you guys like like it would it be would it be okay to say randy epps you Honkling horse bring Egypt. Hold on a minute. I can pull it up real quick. <laughs> there we go. Right. So that's what I'm going to say. So you can do one for Katie. Who, me or Brian? Oh, I don't care. Brian has the better. He's putting his glasses on. <laughs> yeah, so I can see. I got my old man glasses. I don't want to, I don't want to, you know, mess something up and say the wrong word. Katie, the wrong way. Katie Cogsworth. I never, I never Cogsworth. do that. I never do that, Katie Cogswell, you green tooth sheep shed and rockets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do kind of like that. <laughs> You're the excuser you? of the week, you get insulted. Yeah. The excuse abuse comment of the week or the clicker of the week. There you go. I like it. Mm, clicker of the week gets insulted. I can't even see it on that screen. See, that's why you need the glasses. That's why yeah, that's, that's why the glasses are important. That's right. you know, we should do one of these shows in 3D. Oh, gosh. Yeah, that'd be great. Wouldn't we? Because we're not having enough technical difficulties yet. <laughs> we need to add another layer of complexity to our broadcast. Um, so if we did things in 3D, right? I don't I don't even know how that would work, but okay. I've, no, I've learned over the years not to interrupt while you're brainstorming. So mm -hmm. go on. Great <laughs> idea. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Um, all right, so here's here's the plan. We're going to play Quiplash tonight, and so you guys need to start getting ready for that. Um, and, and I'm saying it early on so that you'll have a chance to get a device. A second device. You're watching the show a on device. a device. You're going to need mm -hmm. another one to play Quiplash with us. Mm -hmm. And it's uh, jackbox.tv. You'll go there um if you've never played before you, play, hey, you just oh, you made it kara uh you, you just, poked sherry in the eye when you were doing the 3d thing um, i am uh well you should back up a little bit from your screen you're sitting too close to the screen <laughs> um we, and so uh jackbox.tv find a tablet or a phone or some device that you're not currently watching skews on and and get ready to play because even if you do not make it into the the game itself the audience has uh you know, influence in Quiplash over who the winner is. Absolutely. And so we don't want you to miss out on that. Your vote matters, America. You get to determine who wins Quiplash. Your vote matters, America. And speaking of votes, do we have the, do yeah, we have the bracket? I'm making a banner for Quiplash. Oh, okay. Well, I'll there continue we go. to stall. Okay. All right. I can get go to jackbox.tv on a separate device and just hold that in readiness. <laughs> which is a thing that people used to say at the church when I went to, when they would announce the, the closing hymn, um, they would say the closing hymn is going to be hymn number 263. Hold that in readiness. <laughs> and I always thought that that was a funny way to say the only, that's the only time I ever heard anybody tell me to hold something in readiness. Like, like at I don't school. Think that's the name of the hymn. <laughs> yeah. Hold you that know, in school. readiness. 
Is that the him name? Okay, that's a new one. Well, the, well, they, the teacher would say that when you were getting ready to take a test, you would say yeah. you can, you need two sharpened pencils for this test, and then she would stop. She would never say hold those in readiness yes. for the test. It was just a church thing. I'm holding the bracket in readiness, by the way. Okay, so if you are you, is the bracket ready to go? I can pull it up on screen. I don't know if anybody will be able to see it. Oh gracious! I can't what see happened it. to it. Yes, and ads for everybody. Down. Mm -hmm. Go away. So, okay. well, you can still you can read them. We're we're actually in the uh, we're we're getting ready for the final uh, <laughs> glasses time again. <laughs> final four, right? We'll be in the final four next week. And so, what are the uh, what are the options? I can't read that at all. It's just like like too little. Okay. You want us to get down to four, right? Because right, right we now have to we've be at got four by next week. 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. So we actually have a round of eight to get through before we can do four for next week. Right. Well, and we have to get we have to get to four. But next yeah. week is the fourth, isn't it? Yep. Yes. Let's right. copy so we this. We'll get... put it in the comment section so people can go. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Then you can go and vote if you haven't yet. Right. Uh, and we actually have to get through the final four this week, too. We have to be. Um, no, you need four because each one of you got your own, I thought. You right. and yeah. Brian, JT, and Juan all needed a star spangled something or another. Right, right. But we need to know what they are before the show. We can't do it at the show because what if it's something called Uber? What Eats. if it's correct? <laughs> <laughs> Can you send right. some rock melon, please? <laughs> and, and some spangles. You're not going to be able. You're not going to be able to get a haggis at the last minute. Is what I'm saying. That's you're going to have to. Right. You're going to have to have it prepared and then hold it in readiness for the show. Well, we've only got six votes. I don't know if you can see this. Kimchi, yes, no. four votes for kimchi, two votes for rock melon. So okay. I can submit the scores or I just put the bracket in the comment section. I can give people a little bit of time to vote on this. Mm -hmm. um, what do you want? What do you want me to do? Um, I haven't give even people, voted. Give people a little time. But as we've, talk, as we've discussed before, it's difficult to actually vote while the show is going on because people... Uh, don't have multiple devices to go and vote. Well, they're supposed and... to have one today anyway. So this is good practice. Get out your other secondary device so that you can play Quiplash later. <laughs> so now they have two <laughs> secondary devices. No, no. You can use the same device for both Quiplash and voting on. Oh, see, I wouldn't Toronto. recommend that. I would recommend a separate device for each thing that we tell you to do. Um, voting for Haggis. For Haggis is just a, is haggis a, a, still in the running? I can't see. Is it? Um, is there a possibility that we could be eating haggis? Actually, I don't. Was haggis ever on this? <laughs> I hope uh, not. Thankfully, no. Because <laughs> I don't think it was. We, remember, we have to find it too, and I'm not going to go go into a field and grab some poor sheep and you know, take out its stomach. <laughs> well, yeah. you wouldn't have to. You don't necessarily have to make the haggis yourself. Right. You just have what, to. Where do you Where do you get it? Do you know. have a lot of haggis restaurants in uh, Indiana? We don't have in Indiana. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, lots of it's a big Scottish population in Indiana. <laughs> Everybody has haggis. Everybody has haggis and corn on the cob. McDonald's in McHaggis. We get the McHaggis. <laughs> <laughs> the McHaggis rib is back. It's back. <laughs> Made with nothing but pure haggis. <laughs> now with the more Mc haggis. haggis. The McHaggis. <laughs> Here we go again, guys. <laughs> and there Why goes is the haggis so funny to me? <laughs> Why? Uh, I'm going to have to taste it at some point. McHaggis nuggets. <laughs> Come on. A little dipping sauce. A little. <laughs> <laughs> Just chunks of bite-sized haggis. <laughs> you put it in blue cheese. <laughs> you know, there's mold in blue cheese. Yes, that's gross. <laughs> that's, a, gross. that's an inside joke. If you the listen to the man. podcast, you might. Well, actually, yeah, that yeah. came out last week. Yeah. Well, the bracket for those of you who are going, why are we? What are we voting on? Uh, we've we've got various food items in the bracket, and once we boil it down to the final four, uh, myself, uh, JT, who's not here, Juwan, who's not here, and Brian, who is here, <laughs> but not um, here. Are each going to at least <laughs> but his upper body half periodically from the neck up? He's here. Um, haggis your way. 
It's not bad. It's just a strong flavor. That's all. I'm not going to be able to get a good flavor. It's that's just the strong. kind of thing people say when something tastes disgusting yeah. right there. Stephen. Right. Or it's an acquired taste. I'm not going to be able to get through this if you guys keep saying the word <laughs> haggis. Um, we're voting on different food items that we're going to sprinkle with uh, with star spangled star spangled sprinkles or jimmies in Brian's case. We're going to put sprinkles on the food and eat it. And you are voting on what food we're going to sprinkle. And so that's what the bracket is all about. Yeah. Um, so. Good. That was a good snappy wrap up of the bracket. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. And uh, I think Haggis is so funny. All right. Uh, so what I want to do before we get to Quiplash, while everybody's getting a chance to vote and everybody's getting a chance to go to uh, jackbox.tv, is I want to do weird news uh, first. Um, you told everyone we were going to do World's Smartest Man. We are going to do World's Smartest Man. What, you, you want me to do that first? Oh, I'm just saying. You acted like you didn't remember. So. No, I, have, I actually have notes <laughs> that I look at right here. I don't know Hello? how to get to weird news. Peach? You're here. You're here. You got it. Okay. Yeah. And uh, so we've got uh, we got three things here, Brian, that right. uh, I thought were uh, were newsworthy. Hang on. And uh, she's going to bring them up. So we'll do that first, and then we're going to do smartest man, and that'll give everybody a chance. I don't I don't want people to panic. I don't want this. I don't want the skewsiverse to be a place of uh, of unrest right. and and discomfort and worry. I want people to be at peace. I don't, I want them to be able to leisurely find a second device and then go to Jackbox top TV and, and wait. So good for you, Kelly monster for voting the daylights out of that. All right. Hopefully it was something good. What's going to happen is I'm gonna, there's going to be some pictures of weenus. She's going to laugh about, about that too. She added to my he always laughs at that one. <laughs> Always. <laughs> the reason I laugh at that word is because the only time people use it is when they know what it means and they're just trying to they're just trying to shock people. Right. And so they'll so they'll throw a weenus in. And uh, that's what I appreciate about it. All right. So we're gonna put some pictures up on the screen and your job is to try to figure out what the news story is that goes along with the picture. And the first one is this one. So, uh, Brian, what do you, um, what do you think's going on here? That is. Oh, you never know with Inside Edition. Yeah. Mm -mm. Nope. <clears throat> I don't. And I this like is. The shirt, uh, I like the, the Hawaiian shirt. I am a fan. <laughs> of um, <laughs> We're not dude. getting a lot of context here. <laughs> no, definitely not. Just uh, someone person tried haggis for the first open time. Eyes. <laughs> yeah. Just. And she's she's kind of in a haggis <laughs> McHaggis rib hangover the coma. Yeah, yeah. yeah now remember she's in a, remember this is Inside Edition. Okay, so, so she's, this is she's a interviewing um, the person on the right, but for what reason I don't know. Uh, sneezing <laughs> on an interview. That's before and after Botox. <laughs> sneezing on an interview. That's great. <laughs> this, oh, maybe she fell asleep. Like she was falling asleep during the interview. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know, she's like starting to nod that's off. Is she like narcoleptic or something? Mm -hmm. At, <laughs> that's a good guess. <laughs> um. Someone hit her weenus. <laughs> <laughs> that's a second degree weenus injury. <laughs> uh. You got a sprained weenus. Nope. Nope. Mm. Nope. Nope. Uh, actually, Brian, you were on the right track, believe it or not, when you were commenting about her shirt. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Is it Hawaiian shirts for women? Is that like a new line of clothing? Or? <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying to see Hawaiian shirts for women. Are, are Hawaiian shirts currently for men for men uh, only i rare, well, i rarely seen uh, I, actually i don't know if i've ever seen a woman wearing a hawaiian shirt uh, but i've seen plenty of men myself included uh, rocking resident, really loud hawaiian uh shirt. resident of washington dc whom inside edition identified only as jackie 
said that she wore the shirt, that Hawaiian shirt, 264 times on Zoom calls. 264 consecutive times on <laughs> Zoom calls between April 2nd, 2020 and June 16th, 2021. And she said, I was like, wouldn't it be really funny if I wore this shirt again? Like, that'd be a funny joke and everyone would say something, she told the show. Sadly, no one said anything. And then I thought, well, I'm going to keep doing this until someone notice. And no one ever noticed. She said, so she wore, the, she wore that exact same shirt 264 times. Nobody noticed. Wow. Um, I had some real ups and downs. She said, like the first month I was like, this is really funny. And then I'd be like, oh, I'm still wearing this. And then it'd be funny again, she said. <laughs> so it's like what we talked about before where the joke is funny and then it's no longer funny and then it's hysterical. Right. Except that it was never funny to, <laughs> to anybody except her. But now that's her uniform. Mm -hmm. Well, what I thought was interesting was that this actually made Inside Edition. Yeah. That they were, you know, that this is... This is what it's come to, America. Inside Edition is now covering people who wore the same shirt in Zoom meetings. Um, but they only identified her as Jackie. They would, she, still, she thought it was really funny, and it was worthy of Inside Edition story, but she doesn't want her last name out there. Right. Why? <laughs> what, what's going to happen? That's a really slow news day for Inside Edition, mm -hmm. by the way. That's... It's you know it's funny. I used to work uh, at a place where uh, there was a guy who dressed as a pirate every day. Um, his, yeah, everyone called him Pirate Dave. And the one day he <laughs> didn't was dressed like a pirate day. Then he came in, in like a, you know slacks and a polo. Shirt. <laughs> but no, literally every day he came in dressed like a pirate, and right. everyone was like, yeah, "That's fine. It's just Pirate Dave." <laughs> so what? So what did people say when he just came in dressed like regular Dave? Actually, I don't think he actually did. I think he still came in as a pirate, actually. But the, <laughs> I remember correctly. Yeah, he just... Every day. And when you first work there, you're like, what's with the dude dressed like a pirate? You know, you're like, is it dressed like a pirate? No, he just wears that every day. That's... Yeah. But they do call him Pirate Dave. Yes. Okay. Yep. So they noticed. Yes. Right. So this next one should be a little... Uh, <laughs> maybe a little easier. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that is a, a foreclosed house that has been vandalized. Uh -huh. uh, it mm -hmm. says "you lose" on the hallway. Mm -hmm. And it then it looks like a ha ha or something. Maybe like it that. was a real life. It was a real life game of uh, <laughs> the tag. <laughs> it's a real life game of tag, and a, and a person. <laughs> went all the way across town to tag their friend, but instead of just touching them like you normally would, they used mm -hmm. spray paint. And tagged everything. Uh, yes. That's that's incorrect, though creative. It, it is a home. You're right. Um, freshly, it painted. It's yep. freshly, <laughs> freshly painted. Yeah. Freshly painted. Um, this was a realtor's picture. So hmm. it's Rome for sale. So it has to be foreclosed, I would imagine, from the bank or whatever. Um, interesting. Why would they see you lose? Oh, I, it actually has an inappropriate word on the left. Yes, yes, yes it, it does. does. Get your censored out is probably what it says over there. Right. So I'm guessing... Mm -hmm. the the previous owner or the owner had to <laughs> vandalize their own house to get their renter to move. That's funny. <laughs> that's a great story, but it's not that funny. Dang um, it. Yeah, that's a, Dang that's it. a, the, they vandalized their own home so that <laughs> to make it unlivable. Get out. <laughs> to get a renter out. Um, <laughs> no. This is a house that's for sale. It's in Colorado Springs. Um, $590,000. The $590,000 home. And the realtor described it. You'd think that a realtor trying to sell a home for nine for $590,000 um, that she described as a, quote, little slice of hell. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 
Uh, it's a dilapidated five-bedroom, four-bathroom Colorado Springs home adorned with spray paint that says, blank my blank, and it has feces stuffed in the drawers. Um, so wow. you would think, gosh, how is how are you going to sell a little slice of hell? Um, here's the thing. I, listed, I list vacant houses all the time, and I've not seen even this kind of hysteria in the market. Colorado Springs houses are, are a hot commodity. All the houses. She received, anybody want to take a guess? She received 16 cash offers in the first 24 hours that the house was on the market. And so how cash <laughs> cash offers above asking. That's what's going on uh, out here as well. No matter mm -hmm. what the what it looks like, they're just buying them up. Yep. She she listed the house the afternoon that she listed the house. She got eighty nine text messages since she listed it, and it's listed as a little slice of hell. <laughs> um. <laughs> Let's see. There's a, there's a description here. Okay. You, as you enter, there are soaring ceilings, ceilings and an open floor plan, floor plan, she wrote in the listing. You will also notice there is not one surface of the home that has not been enhanced with black spray paint or a swinging hammer. Um, but don't let that slow you down. It's not nearly as daunting as the freezer in the basement that's full of meat that hasn't had electricity for over a year. So wear your mask. Don't go back there as, as the deck is not necessarily attached to the house in the manner that you might hope. Um, she admits that the home is located in the pink of a geological landslide area. Do not go on the back deck. Do not open the freezer in the basement. Um, also, the uh, carpet, apparently the previous owners had not just one, but a, uh, let's see, a menagerie of a menagerie of animals. And the carpets are saturated with urine. Oh, boy. They always do. $590,000. Little slice of hell. And... Uh, and you're going to have to fight <laughs> tooth and nail to get it. So. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. There you go. All right. All right. Final picture. <laughs> okay. Neighbors fighting. <laughs> uh, guy on the right got fed up and trimmed. Guy on the left street. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Yeah, for yeah, sure. That's the winner. Yeah, that definitely happens. <laughs> that is, and they that's, get that that's right it. up to the right up to the put the the driveway right up to the uh, property line. Yep, that's what I'm going with. <laughs> yep, that's it. Okay, neighbors fighting. <laughs> okay, neighbors fighting. <laughs> Guy on the right is winning. <laughs> uh, this happened in. Uh, yeah, property line debate, mm -hmm. tree lawn law. That's gonna be England, right? Yeah, it's in it's in England, Sheffield, England. For some reason, this is playing sound Bye, in my Jeff. ear. See you next time. <laughs> All right, taking his daughter where? Camp somewhere. Oh, Camp. I thought he was gonna go out and trim up some trees. <laughs> uh, yeah, this couple uh, called an aberist which I guess is a guy who cuts trees to cut down half the branches. Arborist. 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 Ar yeah. Would, there is an R in there that I completely jumped over. This is where Latin helps. Mm -hmm. They cut half the tree off because the rest of the trees in the neighbor's yard. Uh, they've been, it's been in the front yard for 24 years during the coronavirus pandemic. Um, something happened and it just scrolled away and I can't read it. Uh, doggone it. Arborist. You know, right. I, but I fell on the, the car. Or? Well, the problem is that the ads pop in after you start reading. So I can't tell you what happened during the coronavirus. <laughs> <they run> <laughs> I think we can tell what happened. They did not go off. <laughs> well, the, the headline is that they, they cut the tree in half because birds were pooping on their car. 
And so they, <laughs> so they went to the neighbor and said, hey, we need to do something about this tree. And the neighbor said, we're not doing anything about the tree. The tree stays right where it is. And they're like, all right, no, it does not. So I'm cutting my half of the tree down. And so they cut their half off and uh, now the birds have to poop on the lawn on the other side. <laughs> <clears throat> that, that, that's definitely England. That is definitely something you know an Englishman or would someone would do. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. well, well, that license it's, plate. It's that's yeah. European for yeah. sure. Mm -hmm. For sure. So yeah, you guys. That one. That didn't even take very long. But you're right. It was that's a, a great uh, story dispute. Yeah. Too bad it wasn't in Scotland. <laughs> in Scotland. <laughs> That would make Could've a good children's book, I think. Great insults. The half tree. Uh, all right. So is uh, I don't I don't see Tabby coming in yet. So what we're gonna do is we will play a couple of rounds of Smartest Man. She was in the comment section. Was Tabby! she Tabby? <laughs> if you yell louder. <laughs> if you yell louder, she's more likely to hear you. If, yes. we yell, if she's in the comment section, then she's still listening. Tabby! <laughs> Are you gonna play with us? Tabby, <laughs> there, there she is. Look, it works. There she Tabby. is. Am I supposed to be there? Here's yeah, come on in, Tabs. Come, come in here with us, Tabby. Tabby. Everybody, say, everybody, like, everybody start shouting. All together. <laughs> everybody, everybody, shout <laughs> in the are. comment section. Tabby, there, there we go. <laughs> Tabby, there's Brian. <laughs> Tabby. Tabby. Tabby, all right, perfect. Uh, I now can she yell knows. at Luke too if he wants to play. Luke! 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 <laughs> Do you want to play Quick Flash with us? Do you want to play Quick Flash? I know where he is. Luke, we want to play Quick Flash. We got to get cracking. We got to do the smartest man. I wanted Tabby to play Smartest Man with us too. You want to play Quick Flash with us? We're going to run out of time. I know we are. I know we are, doggone it. We're going to run out of time. But you it's have to turn that fault. down. I blame the floating disembodied head of Brian. All right, Here. so what we need you to do is uh, you and the Skewsiverse come up with some questions that you're going to ask the smartest man in the world, and we will um, have him answer them. Now, the smartest man, am I frozen? Look, no, you're you're Look who's here. Tommy! Right. Hi, Listen, Tabs. You can't just yell for me. I I'll did. drop everything and run I to the did. office. But you yes. did. But you did, exactly. <laughs> you totally did. I'm saying you can't do it again. <laughs> <laughs> well, we will. Out of because behavior, Tabby. We need to make sure that you. He was right. like, Are you going to play skews today? And I was like, Yeah, probably. And I'm sitting here waiting. I didn't know you meant I had to come into. Well, chat, my been, boy's behind me, and you just reinforced a negative behavior. <laughs> so we're gonna do it again. <laughs> Look how messy my office looks. Ninja right now. podcast, ninja. All right. So, how this works is the smartest man actually has it has such a big brain that it's contained in four heads. And so you're gonna ask a question. That question will pop up on the screen. And starting with myself. We will answer that question one word at a time. So I'll do a word. Amanda does a word. Brian does a word. Tabby does a word. And we keep going until... Tabby passes. Until it's... <laughs> no, you can't pass. Until it's uh, answered. And we'll know it's answered because the word seen will pop up. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> How am I supposed to do the questions and the scene? Oh, you thing? can't, can you? Okay. You put up scene. I'll do that. Okay. All right, so I'll set up the scene. You put up the questions, and here we go. <laughs> what happened to my missing socks? Your missing box. <laughs> uh, disappeared. When you put them inside your closet. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> so they don't sound missing. <laughs> You're welcome. They're not now. We're, we're go look in your, well, go we, look we in your closet, work. Julia, yeah. and and then get back with us. Mm -hmm. All right, um, next question. Okay. Uh... Why are you so smart? <laughs> Intelligence makes me have more crying babies 
in my world. Therefore, I can't think about anything except how to increase <laughs> those brain cells. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> good. I think the smartest man used two words. Um, it's a hyphenated word. Yeah. So uh, that that effectively answers the question. I, I really All right. Try. This is a good one. Let's do. Why is Michigan flooding? Water. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. Poor Tabby go. I don't uh, know. Tabby <laughs> dropped up. We don't need that many brains. We got this covered. All right, let's do, let's do uh, a couple more. She's right. back. That was a good one. Listen, no, she's this, back. Okay. this is what happens when you yell for me and I have to come running. There is no preparation. <laughs> it is total chaos. Stop griping. <laughs> Wait, where'd it go? Oh, I don't know. I had another one. I don't We're know. Gonna, hey. Oh, there she goes. Okay. I would do it. Oh, well. Shoot. <laughs> <laughs> the world's smartest oh, man, uh, shoot. man, not the world's tech, tech savvy. Oh, wait a second. Sorry, that's not the one. It's good, Rachel, but I was, okay. Um, here you go. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Why is haggis not offered in food courts? <laughs> food? Uh, tastes? Better. When? You mix normal uh, things together <laughs> with sheep. <laughs> I didn't do it on purpose. Uh, oh, um, parts. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't really answer the question why is it not offered in food you're the one with the steam button <laughs> she parts all right last question and then we're playing the quick flash okay um and we'll go over time all right we've got um uh, I, don't, I don't know okay we'll go with this one Smartest man, what came first, the chicken or the egg? <clears throat> what came first, the chicken or the egg? The chicken. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, that was anticlimactic. All right. Told you. Uh, we don't even need, we don't even need brain. No. All right. Brian, do you have a passcode for us? You know, that's a great question. Um, Brian is the keeper of the game tonight. The answer is the chicken. maybe <laughs> the chicken. The chicken. The chicken. Hold on. I'm going to just go. We should ask the smartest again. man if Brian had a passcode. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. We should ask the smartest man what happens in Indiana in the summer that none of us have Wi Fi because apparently mine's. Not is yours messed up too? See, it, it keeps telling uh, me my camera is not connected very well, which is why I look like this lovely black screen. <laughs> okay, Doing I like the way it kind of kind of lights up. And as for the and rest like, of you, go like to I'm Jarvis. TV on your other device, and we'll give you the room code as soon as the rest of us are in. Just Jarvis. call me Jarvis. I guess I need okay, to go to Jarvis. Jarvis. TV. I need to. I'm like, all right, just. Oh, I see the. It's in the private chat. I see it right now. You should ask, hey, Siri. I just want the audience code. It's the same code, Kara. Brian, you guys... skull. <laughs> your head is creepy when your eyeballs are not in it. <laughs> I just got to tell you. No offense, but uh, I like your eyeballs. No offense. Oh, oh, none right. taken. <laughs> exactly. None taken. Uh, All right. So we've got me. Is Luke, is Luke not? Luke's uh, in. He's actually oh, he's in. first in, so he's got the button that says everybody's in. So let us know when. It should be six. 
two, uh, four, two five. four five in there right now, at least on my screen. Why would there be six? Because there's oh, because I'm counting myself twice. <laughs> <laughs> on the Are you gonna play twice or <laughs> you're just gonna play once? All right. So if we throw up, if we throw this thing on the screen, then the first uh, what three people that come in will actually be participating, and everybody else will be in the audience. Okay. Right? On your marks, get set, go. So you might right. want to be the ninth caller. HJLJ. So if you want to play and you get in, then you'll play. And if you don't, then you'll be in the audience. <laughs> the first three people, that didn't make that any didn't sense make at all. Any sense. <laughs> no, if you want to play, you no, put this no. in and you'll get in. All and right, if you right. don't want to play, you'll be in the audience. Is it Joe uh, Farkas? Is, is it Joe Farkas? I think it's probably Joe Friesen. Is it PG know. Joe? Is he it PG probably, Joe? He would probably put in something <laughs> mildly inappropriate. <laughs> All right, here we go. Yes, let's keep it appropriate. <laughs> oh, hey, I everybody. Know. I don't think it's mine. I think Are we going to hear the? Okay, no sound. Um, so I, basically, I can put sound if you'd like. No, that's um, fine. We're gonna we're gonna get prompts on our phones, and uh, we have to fill in the blank with prompts, and then you will see two of those answers up on the screen. And you vote for the one that you like the best. How's that for snappy? Oh, it's Joe Friesen. Okay. So we don't have to worry about the family friendliness. <laughs> right. It'll be Joe. Joe Friesen is trustworthy. Joe and Friesen decent. needs to be better behaved than the other. Than Joe your Elton. than your husband. Yeah. Right. I hope so. At least don't ruin my reputation, Joe Friesen. I vouched for you. <laughs> how would it how would it ruin your reputation? Because I vouched. Okay, so now we've got I'm things on our phone. This is going to be a quiplash. Everybody's going to answer this the same way. Who is? Uh, or not a quiplash. What's it called? A jinx or whatever it's called when you both say the same thing. Uh, a jinx. Okay, this is... I'm going to try to continue keeping up some snappy banter. Um, Don't worry. Right. I've already got my answers, so I will. So you can talk. I'll so say, you, say something. Yeah, talk about haggis. Uh, no, that'll distract you. Guys, you can become a comedy click member if you want to be part of the effort party. That's just after spelled wrong because dad doesn't proofread his stuff before he sends mm -hmm. it. Um, but get the link on johnbraining.com and you can join us after the show for a recap of everything that happened tonight and to talk about next week's show, be part of planning that. A lot of fun. Oh, uh, there's apparently they're taking sides now, apparently. Yes. Oh, they're Who picking go Brian. Who's, who's rooting for me? Nobody. Nobody. Perfect. <laughs> that's yeah. the way, that's the way it should be. You got well, actually, six um, seconds. I don't have anybody on my side. Oh, be and audience, audience needs to be extra fast because it's probably a slight delay for them. Oh, so yes. Like, That's true. What an alarm clock could say that would wake you right up. Mom, I'm going to puke. The McHaggis is back. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh, look, Jessica Newman is... Wait. Stefan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stefan and Jessica. Game. He's playing and he's rooting for me. Stefan's like rooting for me. Yeah, okay. Russ Sandbagging. <laughs> Team John. Well, then don't be funny, Stefan. Jacob. Yeah. <laughs> don't compete. Throw this game. Yeah. So the audience has to vote fairly quickly. Um, Tabisha, three votes. Oh, Ooh, it's three, three. Oh, yeah. Oh, the yeah. audience swung that one. I got all the moms. That's what I did. <laughs> the haggis is I got all the haggis. <laughs> <laughs> a great way to start a conversation with a weird loner on the subway. Nice tattoo. Have you had a McHaggis? <laughs> oh boy. Sensing a theme already. Not gonna, not gonna lie. Yes. I'm not gonna. Kara. Team Peaches. Team Peaches. Have you had a McHaggis? I keep putting these comments over Tabby's head since you oh. can do it anyway. Yeah, it's have good. You, Oh, yeah. here comes my son again. I hear him. Simon. Joe, nice tattoo. Have you had a make <laughs> podcast ninja? Ooh. Dominating. <laughs> There's Luke. <laughs> uh, Ozzy Osbourne's Twitter password, probably. 
Uh, I don't remember. Did you, 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 that's tough. Yeah. They, they, it's basically the same joke, but one of them is a little more accurate. Um, do you ever see the sketch in Silent Live where they talked about how you couldn't understand him when he was talking, and so they would have him sing his lunch order so they could figure out what he wanted? <laughs> no. Uh, let's see. Oh, I just got destroyed. Oh, audience. Audience. Oh, that was close. The audience oh, saved me. I don't know why I got kicked out. The audience saved me. All right, next question. Where the missing sock in the dryer ends up going? We answered it back in your closet. <laughs> <laughs> in the closet. Yeah. Uh, in See? See? Knowledge. That's, that's why I thought we should play the smartest man before we did Quiplash, so that it would give us something we could call back to. Yes, you're very clever. I thought that, I that was going to be the one that everybody jinxed on. Isn't it called a jinx when you answer the same? Yes. Yeah. I'm a lot smarter than people think. You're the smartest man. Mm -hmm. Mandy, we would have if Come that on, had been my Devin. prompt. Devin. Ooh, this one's close, Listen, too. If Ooh. Tabby had gotten that prompt, we would have jinxed. I'm just saying. It's not It's not a you know smirch on your character. Just We're also really good is. at twin telepathy. Kind of a, a name for a really cheap hotel. Est Wettern and, <laughs> and, <laughs> like and Buck a Night. Uh, Ooh, I like it. That's, those are both good. I like those. Est <laughs> Wettern. <laughs> you get it. You get I get it. it. I get it. I like it. Oh, there I go again. Putting <laughs> 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 turn left. I don't like it. Oh, there I go. It's Tab Show. And me. Oh, come oh, on. Me. That's the cleverest yeah. I've ever been. Yeah. Thank you. I'll forget Take you, Stefan. That Tabsha. I should have just said fart. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, would, I wouldn't have voted for Something you. Something you'd be surprised Animal. to see come out of a pimple you pop. <laughs> Confetti ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> Both of those are good. <laughs> <laughs> Something you would be surprised and delighted to see come out of the pimple. You. I don't know. It's a pimple popping party. You'd eat ice cream that came out of a pimple? I didn't say I'd eat it. I'd be. I'd eat confetti, though. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, wow, Brian. <laughs> confetti. Ice cream was funny, but the idea of confetti bursting out of a pimple. <laughs> The visual that it's hard to it ignore. Says, Congratulations. The worst menu item that starts with all you can eat. I knew it. There's, there's, the <laughs> the there's the jinx. Good job. All right. Steve. Yeah. <laughs> so they both get no points. He reads that person's mind. What do you hope the Mars rover finds? Juan and JT, <laughs> <laughs> my missing socks. Listen, they're Wait, in your a, closet. Is that a slight <laughs> against the rest of us? What? <laughs> are, are you saying that you hope? Juwan and JT are on another planet. <laughs> they're not just missing. They're not even on Earth anymore. It's a really far show. <laughs> Haggis for the win. <laughs> Joey Haggis. Uh, look at this. Peaches. You have, to, you have to shift over to the podcast ninja again so we can see his face. Uh, he just left the room because Emmy spilled apple juice. Uh, she spilled apple juice in the kitchen. <laughs> and then she said, I'm going to puke. And we immediately <laughs> jumped up. And we're awake. And I'm we're really adapted. not sure what happened. Comedy Brian. Apple juice and then said she not spilled apple juice. So we'll see. Pod Ninja's I, on it. I forget how difficult it is to beat the podcast ninja at Quiplash. Um, okay, now I have to think. Um, let's see. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know why I'm bothering to be this clever. It's very unappreciative. <laughs> <laughs> I just need to write haggis. <laughs> oh, there's my kids again. Uh, 
Hmm. Hmm. Let's see. Hmm. This one's not coming to me as this well as last yeah. one. <laughs> hmm. 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 All right. Hmm. I'm just gonna boo myself already. Boo. <laughs> <laughs> Just, just booing myself already. My brain just went. I could try to wait twenty six seconds, but I can't. <laughs> Use the I'm still board. gonna come up with something funny by then. I can't. Mail it in. Put a stamp on it. Mail it in. I just shut my name too. Win anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want anybody to like these. <laughs> Sometimes that helps, actually. Yeah. <laughs> the only reason to ever play a banjo. The devil went down to Kentucky instead. <laughs> you just bought a little slice of hell. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so you play the banjo. <laughs> That's weird that hell was referenced twice. <laughs> mm -hmm. With the banjo. It's a little slice of hell. Haggis is funny. Mick Haggis is mammoth funny. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Tabsha, devil went I'm down to get that Oh, on. It's, it's a spoon. Oh, no. oh. yeah, but on. the podcast. <laughs> I, I... Tabsha, that, was, that, was, that was a good one. That was really good. I like that. That one. was close. Uh, the name of the reindeer Santa didn't pick to pull his sleigh. Like the rest of them? Reindeer Lumpy. <laughs> That's probably his own answer, too. <laughs> you know Dasher and Dancer and Prancer and Lumpy. <laughs> Isn't that a uh, weird question? Because technically, Brian. all of those, all of those reindeer he didn't pick. Oh, uh, anyway, Brian, dead um, gum. That was the good one. That was not the boo one. Not, the one <laughs> not even, even going to be close. The worst theme for your kid's first dance recital: <laughs> bloodletting, <laughs> <laughs> pimple popping party. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, both of those are good. I mean, you have Ninja Turtles is up there too, but you know, bloodletting and pimple popping party. Uh, wow, <laughs> a theme for a child's dance recital. I'm not salty about the reindeer. That was funny. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, take that, peaches. Doesn't matter. We're not going to be able to catch Brian, no matter. No, what you do. will with this other. The, the other one's gonna. I'm gonna get like negative points. <laughs> He's gonna negative. lose points. A tweet from a caveman. Me no like haggis. Haggis. Hey. <laughs> hmm. I think haggis is caveman food, isn't it? Depends on what you're saying about the Scots. <laughs> You can't beat a good bloodletting. I can't wait to see the uh, the little party favor gifts you give away at the end of that. <laughs> you can't have a good bloodletting without beating. Stefan got chickens. Mm, ah, just edges out. I was hoping for like seventy six percent. Uh, the name of a board game for players age 70 oh, and no. older. 3D operation, retirement to Upoli. Retirement Upoli. I got you. I get what you're going with that, with the 3D operation. I would go, I get like, it. Third. I would go like third operate or third knee <laughs> operation. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. It's, it's regular operation, but yeah. it's all knees and hips. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Three knee operation. <laughs> Listen, I had crying babies at my feet. Uh, good though, I like it. <laughs> Retirement, awfully. 
It's just one space. You roll the dice and you just stay in the same space. <laughs> and then you get to eat tapioca pudding. <laughs> <laughs> it's just so crazy. It's brilliant business idea to pitch to Shark Tank. I guess socks, zip, sh zit shaped confetti poppers. Oh, people yeah. would buy that for sure. Yeah, people would yeah. buy that. <laughs> they actually buy refillable zit popper. Uh, yes. What do you like? What? Tablets? They're like little, um, like squares. Uh, they're like squares that, what, what's that rubbery? Uh, so, silicone. silicone, yeah. Silicone. Yeah. And you fill it with this yellow synthetic pus, and then you can pop the zits over <laughs> It's disgusting. That's yeah. pretty gross. That's disgusting. It's, it is a real pitch. It has been done. Boo. Well, not confetti, but <laughs> it's been done. That's uh, boomy. Yeah, well, it's still not going to be enough to overtake your two. <laughs> Come up with a name for the most difficult yoga pose known to mankind. Leaping oyster. <laughs> the vertical corkscrew. <laughs> that doesn't seem that difficult. <laughs> I'm jealous of that. The leaping oyster. <laughs> I have no idea what that means, uh, but that's why it's got to be hard. Yep. Um, it's a difficult pose. Mm -hmm. uh, I appreciate that, Jake. Uh, <laughs> what's, that, what's that one move they do um, in uh, Blades of Glory? What's uh, that called? Where they like. Where if you do it wrong, you cut off your partner's head with your size <laughs> cane. <laughs> What's that called? I don't remember. Well, in, in Lotus school, blossom. There's the triple lending. The A completely lending. untrue rumor about oh, Alvin no. from Alvin and the Chipmunks. Completely untrue rumor. Broke up with the band. He's actually a very small <laughs> skunk. <laughs> His real name's Albert. <laughs> <laughs> I first. Yeah, I heard that vicious rumor. He's actually a small skunk. <laughs> oh no! Accidentally closed out. A a small, paint, it should have been painted skunk. Small <laughs> brown skunk. I'm in trouble. Uh, broke up with the band is funny. Ooh. 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 There's a whiplash. No, he got one audience vote. No, but it doesn't count. Oh, it doesn't? Well, it, yeah, it, it takes the votes. And so the peaches is coming on strong this last. Yeah, no, but I, we got one round left. I don't know if it's going to let me back in. Good. So you, good. One less player. Oh, <laughs> right at the end. That last one. Nice. One less player to worry about. All right. The last slash. Who knows what it'll be? We all get the same prompt in this one, right? Yeah. Is that right? If you yeah. don't get the same prompt, you're not playing the game. The only thing worse than standing in a really long line is standing in a really long line for... Oh, geez. I wonder what you'll put. <laughs> there you go. There's, there's some cheap points for myself. <laughs> I feel like I sold my soul a little bit. Uh, did you just write fart? <laughs> no, but that would make me laugh. <laughs> I wouldn't want to stand in line for farts. Uh, I put a. Yeah, this will be a. This will be a game winner for me. <laughs> yeah. You got the rest. Of you guys might as well just write haggis. <laughs> For someone else, a weenus exam, bosoms, <laughs> haggis socks, a long time, mannequin nice. art, your service ticket, haggis. Yep. <laughs> Standing in a really long line for someone else is actually really funny. <laughs> no, no, this isn't for me. <laughs> I'm just here. I we have to vote too about that, wouldn't we, Dabby? Yeah, I have to vote, to vote for <laughs> bosoms at least once. Yeah, and you vote three times on this too. So vote three. Well, times. the audience, well, only, audience gets only gets one, right? Ooh. So, but the rest of you guys. I would kind of like to see haggis socks. Yeah, I would too. Oh, I can vote for the same answer. I would kind of like to go to a weenus exam. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably an ASMR video somewhere. Haggis. 
Three percent. Chung. Mannequin art. Six percent. I know everyone's going with haggis and and haggis socks. Nine percent. Six percent. Right. You should have said like not haggis or like a live sheep. Your yeah. service ticket. Six percent. Well, this could be close. Everybody's got six percent. <laughs> a long time. Six percent. No. Nine percent. <laughs> that extra three percent is going to boost me over the top. Man. Bosoms. <laughs> Tabby. I've been looking for a way to put that in this game <laughs> this whole time. Someone else. Good job. Twenty. Oh, it's, it's Mandy's. It's not funny then. Who's got weenus exam? Probably Lou. It's ninja. It's gonna be twenty three though. Oh, I think that. <laughs> <laughs> I think that might be enough to win. No, is that it's three. Per, it's triple points. Oh, that's true. So. We'll see. Let's see what happens. Yep. Boom! There it is. Why do you let him play? <laughs> I was saving up. Pop the confetti zits. <laughs> Celebration. Get right. out your confetti zit cannon. <laughs> I gotta give gotta give a hat tip. Oh, hello. Gotta give a hat tip to Brian for Lumpy though. <laughs> Lumpy the reindeer. Lumpy. <laughs> <laughs> one, of, one of my favorite moments. You know, that's what Tim used to call um, Nick, our cousin, when we were younger. To become yes. a big dad. <laughs> because he fell down the stairs in a wall uh, when he was a baby. That's right. That's right. His, his father called him that. When he was just a little kid in a walker, he tumbled down the stairs. And so his dad started calling him Lumpy. <laughs> Right, but then we heard about that story, and Nick or Tim picked it up and started calling him that, and it would just make him so mad. So of course Tim did it all the time. All the time. Uh, okay, my face hurts. Uh, that that's our show. That's our show for this uh, for this week, and uh, it's time for the snappy wrap up. Mm-hmm. And hang on a second. So it's time for the snappy wrap up. So what we're going to do is a snappy wrap up, which Tabby, is basically. A I'm wrap here. Up I'm just that is snappy. I'm okay, just not here. But you, you get to do the snappy wrap up tonight. Yay! You can't and see, but I'm smiling. <laughs> I'll smile for you. Thanks. But Tabby looks like, but with dark hair. Mm-hmm. And a big so, We're gonna Tabby say goodbye like... to Brian. After but not for long. He'll be at the after, after party. Okay, mm-hmm. bye, Brian. Um, and you guys are gonna read the credits tonight as Tabby. Manly Bosch. Oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Tabby's going to be Manly Bosch. Uh-huh. And Dad, you're going to be uh, allergies. Oh, I got to breathe it like allergies. Okay. okay. So I got to get our little video there. All right. Here we go. I've got to get into character. <clears throat> See you guys at the effort <clears throat> party. Get <clears throat> set. Uh, <clears throat> My Go. Bob says that I got to read the credits. You can yeah. become a click member at jobbradiot.com. Quite, quite. We are doing a wrap up. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks to the, the click members, Troy Baltus, and Donna Bob Gardner, <laughs> Amber Bradley, but Brubaker, Peter Chap, and Scott Chili. That's well. Uh, come to VK. You can meet me, Manly Bosch. Uh, <laughs> thanks to Cindy Fry, Kit Karen Lobble and Paul Lee. Uh, you also can check find out Brian April. Go ahead. Good <laughs> 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 job. Thomas Soaks, Chance Rogers, Olivia Rugrock. Look for <clears throat> Juan DeBebo. Olivia? I couldn't say your last name before it moved on. You didn't talk about John Thomas Soaks. <clears throat> and John Thomas Oaks. Thanks for being at the show. Yes. This quite, was the- quite. This was the best thing that ever happened to me all week in.